Hey guys, thought I'd just give you another quick video, um, just outlining some of the stuff with the um, Play On HD2. So I've actually already put a hard drive in here, just a 320 gig SATA, um, but just to give you an idea of how it works is you pretty much just get the hard drive and just slot it straight in, you'll feel it click in at the end and um, it's good to go. It, it does actually um, require you to format the drive first but that's pretty quick to do. So I'll give you a quick idea of the menu system and how that's laid out. Alright, so um, this is what you get when you first start up the player. Um, you just have your options here for movies, um, your music and your photos. In here you've got your file manager. Um, so this allows you to actually manage the content on there, so you've got your hard drive, um, you can access your media servers and other computers that you've got in your network. Uh, I've actually got it plugged in at the moment with uh, uh, an Ethernet cable to my um, router and uh, as you can see here I'll just give you um, a quick sort of idea of what the streaming's like. It's very quick, there's no lag whatsoever. So here's just a, uh, one of the videos from Windows itself. So yeah, that gives you just an idea of uh, how quick it is. So let's just go back to the main menu and we'll just look at everything else that's on there. Alright, so uh, here you got your internet media. So this is mostly social networking stuff. You've got your Facebook and your Twitter and uh, YouTube and things like that. Um, I believe that you can actually plug in a keyboard and mouse as well. Uh, when you try and go on Facebook, it says, you know, you can plug in a keyboard and mouse now. Um, proceed if you want to. So um, that's a handy thing to have if you, you know, you want to use um, maybe like a, a wireless one or something. Um, sit back on the couch. Um, here is a uh, jukebox, so that's for uh, your sound, um, just getting music from across your network. And here we've got torrents. I won't go into too much detail right now, but um, I will uh, explain a bit more in the written review. And finally, we've just got your setup. So um, it's set up how you pretty much would expect it to be. You've got your system information, so you can change your desktop, um, which is pretty cool, and your font and things like that. Um, format your drive, etc. And we've got your audio, so this is where you can just choose how you want to get your audio out, whether it's uh, via coax or uh, the HDMI or even the uh, optical out. And here we've got your video, so uh, you set your aspect ratio, uh, your resolution, um, things like that. Uh, network, so uh, I've got this plugged in with a Ethernet cable, uh, as I mentioned before, and it, it pretty much just picks it all up. You do have the option to um, uh, set a, a static IP on there, and also set up some DNS servers, but I've just got it um, running uh, auto, and um, that connected to it fine without any issues. Alright, so um, if we have a quick look at the miscellaneous. That's pretty much just like your system information. So you got your version info, your network info, etc. You can you can upgrade the firmware on this unit. Um, basically, you just need to go to their website and download it. Um, I have checked, and this is actually shipped with the latest one, so you don't have to do that out of the box. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the walkthrough. Um, I'll go into a lot more detail in the written review, which I'll link in the comment box just below uh, once it's up. But uh, yeah. If you like this video and want to see more like it, just subscribe.